Hello tinkerers, we built a nice little house, we built a nice little hut, now I'd like to put them in a nice little forest. So that involves adding a few trees. Well what do I want for some trees? Uh, the basics, I want my canopy and I want a nice trunk. So we're going to start with a nice trunk. Looking at our basic shapes, let's grab this cylinder and start by making a nice trunk for a tree. Well first off, I want my trunk to be brown, so I click up here onto the solid colors and find a nice brown, either light brown, dark brown, doesn't really matter. I'm going to start with a nice dark brown. Obviously, thing is, my tree trunk seems to be the same size as my hut, so how can I change that? Click on it, select it, and then I can go to the corner. And hopefully, I can change the scale. Now, the thing is, I want a nice round trunk. So, easiest way to do that is hold shift, and then it scales automatically together. You see how it scales, grows bigger and smaller? And to bring it down and automatically stays the same or I could just click on here and change it let's change it to a nice 10 and then I've got 10 on each side there you go I've got a nice little trunk I want my trunk to be slightly taller so let's bring that up there we go so I've got a nice tree trunk now then there's a few things I could uh, put on top of this tree trunk I could put a cone obviously I don't want a purple cone so let's change that to a nice green cone and again if I want to align them both, I could try and spot it for the end and put it on top of one another. But the best way is to hold shift, click on both. So you've got both selected, going up to align. And I can align them both at the bottom and at the side. And then there's one down on top of the other. But that doesn't look like much of a tree. So what do I need to do now? Click on my cone and bring it up. So by using my top little arrow, bring it all the way up. Here we go. I've got my first tree. If I want to make it slightly bigger, I can hold shift, scale it out so it's slightly bigger. Let's make it 25 around. Here we go. And then it's gone off alignment. So I need to select both because if I look at it from all angles, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? So click on both, select both. Here we go. Align, align there and align here. And I've got a nice tree trunk. Oh, did that align? It didn't align both ways, did it? So I just need to select again. And line that way there we go we've got a nice tree and a nice trunk so that's one type of tree i could get another trunk so i just go up here i duplicate and nothing seems to happen but actually there's two trunks appeared there's another trunk how about i have a roundy tree so let's bring on a sphere this time don't want a blue sphere i want a green canopy i'll do dark green this time let's align them again so i can either select by clicking and holding and making a red box over both or i can click and hold shift and select both of them press the align tool align that way and that way and then i've got my sphere on top of my tree trunk just select the sphere go to the arrow pointing up and then just pull it up to the top of the trunk and there you go i've got a tree and a pointy tree and a round tree they're looking good so i could select them by clicking and holding red then i could duplicate nothing seems to happen but actually there now is two trees i could do it again let's select them both duplicate and let's put a whoops a daisy i grabbed the corner that time so just go back undo grab a middle and there's another tree could get a few cone trees select them both duplicate and pull away there's a cone tree my forest is looking really good up oh, grab another cone tree duplicate and pull away and then i've got another cone tree what a fantastic forest i am growing look at that you can obviously change the shade of some of these so just by clicking i can change the shade to have some dark green and i can change some of my round ones to have light green i could change some of the trunk colors from dark blue to light sorry dark brown to light brown again dark brown to light brown so there we go that is the basics of building a trees in a forest my one top tip is if you want to go and do it a bit harder you could duplicate your trunk move your trunk to one side and then go looking for a really interesting shape it's called an asteroid and that i might find in shape features if i shape generator and look for all in a few seconds and then you've got loads of different really weird and interesting ones down here i need to go to number 17 so it's all the way at the back there are some really interesting ones that i can look at and i could bring these on if you find any that look like a tree canopy 
be able to bring them on and you can try them out being on top oh that would be a strange high star tree oh that would look good wouldn't it look at all these random interesting shapes that you could generate what i'm looking for particularly is the asteroid the reason i quite like the asteroid is if i bring the asteroid on look at a wonderful shape that is and if i turn that to be uh, green and then align it with my tree trunk one way and move it around and align it the other way and then i bring my asteroid up i've got a really funky tree there look at that that looks like a proper tree that one does so please go and have a look to see what other shape generators you could put at the top of your tree and you could get some really ambitious trees going looking forward to seeing some of your forests and hopefully within your forest you've got a nice hut and a nice house and then a really nice forest to go around it looking forward to seeing some of your forests please post below and i look forward to seeing some of your pictures